What's really good, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm keeping things pretty chill. We're gonna do very minimal on the eyes, but I'm gonna show you guys my foolproof way of looking flawless all the time. Now, don't get me wrong, I know that barely there skin-like look is very much on trend, but for me personally, there's a time and a place for everything. In some occasions, just call for full coverage. So I'm gonna run through my favorite products to get that full coverage look that never looks heavy or cakey whatsoever. Now, before we jump into it, I do want to give a huge shout out to Lancome because they are sponsoring a portion of today's video. I really appreciate it and I'm super excited to share with you the products I will be using in today's video. So if you guys are not yet subscribed, make sure you guys do so by pressing the subscribe button, like this video and turn on your post notifications so that way YouTube will notify you when I upload, which is every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With that being said, let's go ahead and zoom in and let's get started on today's look. Let's go. So first things first, you know I gotta focus on a little bit of skin prep. So I'm gonna start off with the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. I really, really love this product. It's very lightweight on the skin and that's the thing. Whenever I am going for a full coverage look, I really have to take the time to properly prep my skin and moisturize it because while we're going for something full coverage, we don't want it to feel dry whatsoever on the skin. So the only way to fully achieve that is to ensure that you go in with a hydrating product directly underneath. So I take a little bit onto my face and then I work it in. And this is such a lightweight formula. Again, whenever I'm going for something very full coverage, I want to steer clear of anything that's going to feel heavy or oily on the skin because then my makeup on top really isn't going to last. So this is perfect for underneath the makeup. Now this next step is 100% optional. If you are going to be wearing this during the day, then I highly recommend going in with some sunscreen. For me personally, I am going to be wearing this during the day, but if you're wearing it more at night, I would skip out on the SPF 40. I'm using the Glow Screen, which is one of my personal favorite sunscreens. I'm actually almost out of it, so I will need to pick up a backup. But what I love about it is that it has a little bit of luminosity to it. So it looks stunning on the skin. You could also use it as a primer, which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing today i don't really want to layer on too many products onto the skin so this is going to just act as a really nice barrier between my skin and my foundation now because i am going for a very full coverage and long wearing makeup look the foundation i'm using today is by lancome this is the tiny Idol ultra wear foundation now i love this formula and this line so incredibly much when i tell you there's gonna be a shade for any and everyone. There's gonna be a shade for any and everyone. They offer 50 different shades, and I love that the formula is long wearing without ever feeling heavy on the skin. The formula is extremely lightweight and it blends out so seamlessly on the skin. It's actually more of like a soft matte finish. It's not drying whatsoever. So I'm gonna be going in with the shade 230 Buff W. I like to give this a good shake, and then I will pump out a little bit onto the back of my hand. I do find that it does oxidize a little bit so just be careful with that when you are picking out your shade but if I have any foundation twins out there I do wear a shade 230 buff W in this foundation so what I like to do is I like to take some on a brush and then just kind of stipple it onto the skin and then I'm going to buff and blend it out so that we can fully see the before and after of the foundation as I'm blending it out now, depending on how I'm feeling, I'll either buff and blend it out with a beauty sponge or a brush. In this case, I'm going to be using a kabuki brush and I'm just gonna swirl it into the back of my hand and pick up whatever product I have left. And then I'm gonna use a brush to just buff and blend it out. And you can see it blends out so nicely. Like the formula is so fluid, but it has incredible coverage. Ooh, we love to see it. We really do. Lancome such such a beautiful formula you guys killed it with this foundation this is what my face looks like with one layer of the foundation whereas this side you can still see some of my redness my uneven skin tone my imperfections this really did just even everything out it looks so incredibly beautiful i still have some sunspots peeking through but it definitely gives off more of a full coverage look if you did want to build this foundation, you can definitely do so, which is exactly what I'm going to do. In certain areas of my face, I don't like to get too crazy with this because realistically, I want my skin to still look like skin while still being as flawless as possible. So as you can see, I just stippled 
it around on my face where I need additional coverage. And now I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm just going to pat it in to just intensify the coverage in certain areas. I don't need it everywhere. I just need it in certain areas. And you can see it's really, really doing the job. And it still looks incredibly beautiful and natural on the skin. Look at that. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that foundation and I'm gonna work on the other side of my face. Another thing I wanted to make note of is that this foundation is transfer and humidity resistant, which works great for me personally. I do live in Florida, so it is very hot and humid and I can personally say that this wears beautifully in the Florida heat. Another thing is that the formula is oil free and I do have very acne prone skin, so sometimes I have to be very careful as to what foundations I'm applying to my skin and this works in incredibly well with my skin type. So definitely a must try. If you guys are interested in checking out the foundation, I will have it listed down below. All right, and this is what things are looking like. Let's do a full blown before and after. I don't even think you guys are ready. Like this is unreal. And here's the kicker, my skin still looks like skin. Now for concealer, I am super stoked and excited to try out a new concealer with you guys on camera. It's also by Lancome. This is the new Tiny Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. Now, what I love about this is that, look at this, look at this. Oh, so freaking cute, right? This is foundation, this is concealer, so obviously significantly smaller than the foundation, but the packaging really sold me. I was in Ulta and I'm just like, you need to come home with me. like immediately and I need to try both the foundation and the concealer together. So the shade I picked up is 215 on the box. It says 215 buff neutral. So it definitely is more of a neutral tone concealer. I didn't wanna to go too warm, but I also didn't wanna to go too peach either. So I found that this was gonna be the perfect match for me personally. So I'm just going to open it up. Ooh, this is what the applicator looks like. It looks like it holds a lot of product right there, which is something I'm into. So I'm only gonna take a little bit here oh, the color match so freaking good oh my god i need to give myself a pat on the back so again this is my first time trying out this concealer with you guys i'm also going to take a little bit down the center of my face to highlight which is pretty standard for me and then to really buff and blend it out i'm just going to use that same stippling brush that i used earlier because i've really been into using a brush to blend out concealer so i'm just going to take this and i'm lightly just going to stipple this underneath the eyes um now what I'm gonna do to further blend out the concealer is I'm gonna take a damp sponge and of course I'm gonna dip that sponge into a little bit of the concealer and then I'm gonna use it to just buff and blend out the concealer underneath my eyes. Because I was using more of a stippling brush, I found that you can see some streaks within the concealer. So definitely use more of a sponge. I feel like you'll get more of a better blend. And look at that, like full on coverage, but it doesn't look heavy, dry, Anything like that, I was reading the box and it says that it's made with skin loving ingredients like Moringa extract, which isn't meant to dry out the under eye area, which is nice. So very, very pretty underneath the eyes. This is so beautiful and I love the shade. It's not too peach, but it's also not warm either. It's the perfect neutral concealer for the under eye area. And look at that, it blends out beautifully and it doesn't look heavy or cakey or anything. The next step in this routine is going in with a little bit of powder and I'm gonna go in with a loose powder, but I'm also gonna go in with a pressed powder and the loose powder I'm using is also by Lancome. This is the long time no shine powder. It's a loose setting powder that's also mattifying. Now I'm not gonna take this all over the skin because I don't want it to be overly mattified, but I do need to set that concealer down and in place. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the powder with a sponge, the same sponge I used to blend out my under eye concealer and I'm gonna use this to set underneath the eyes. 
I'm also gonna take some of this powder down my T-zones. I'm pretty much gonna mattify all the areas where I put that concealer. And this is just from a longevity standpoint. In order for my foundation to last a really long time throughout the day, especially considering I live in Florida, I do have to take the necessary steps to go in and set my makeup down in place because if I don't, it's gonna be a hot ass mess at the end of the day. So that is why I'm just taking this powder in the areas where I know I'm gonna get oily throughout the day because it's more of a mattifying powder. So I'm really powdering down my T-zone, like so. Now for the rest of my face, I will be using the All Nighter Powder by Urban Decay. This is ultimately a universal waterproof setting powder. So I'm gonna take this on a big old fluffy brush and I'm just gonna powder down all the other areas of my face that I didn't go in with the loose setting powder by Lancome. And this is really just gonna keep everything locked and loaded throughout the day. Trust me when I tell you this powder is everything and more, especially if you want your makeup to last. It's one of my favorite formulas ever. Now I'm personally really big on just making sure my complexion looks as pretty flawless and seamless as possible. So the bronzer and blush I'm going to be using today is by Jaclyn Cosmetics. This here is in the shade Warm Flush and I love it so much. I'm going to be using the bronzer to just bronze up the skin. I'm not going to be doing any heavy contouring or anything like that. I love that this formula is a baked formula. So let me tell you, it goes on the skin like butter it never looks patchy or cakey or anything like that do you see a trend here like we want to be flawless we want that full coverage look but we don't want to look cakey crepey or blotchy <laughs> i'm telling you these products are going to do wonders for you check them out i will have everything listed down below So I don't know if you guys can tell, but for my forehead, I did switch to more of an angled brush because I do like to take that bronzer and I like to take it in the formation of a W over my nose, like so. This definitely gives me a really pretty sun-kissed look and feel. And it just looks a little bit more effortless as opposed to going in with just like a straight nose contour. I just think it looks really pretty, but if you're not into it, you can definitely skip this step. I'm also going to pick up the coordinating blush in the duo and I'm just going to pop that onto my cheeks. Now I will definitely say if you go in with a cream and then go in with a powder, that's definitely going to give you more longevity. But from this standpoint, I don't really want my blush and bronzer to be like the star of the show. I really just want a pretty wash of color. So I won't necessarily be mad if this fades a little bit throughout the day. But again, if you are going for like longevity, I would go in with a cream and then a powder over top. So that's all I'm really gonna do for my base makeup. I know what you're thinking, like no highlight. No, absolutely no highlight because I already know myself in my skin and naturally my skin is gonna get somewhat oily throughout the day and that is really all the shine I'm going to need. I don't really want to look like a glazed donut so I'm skipping out on highlight completely and I'm really just gonna go for an all matte look which is beautiful on the skin. So for the eyes, I do wanna do more of an all matte look as well. So I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Ta Four Eyes Eyeshadow Palette and I'm gonna pick up this shade here. I did use this palette in a previous video and you guys loved it let me tell you i have not been able to put this palette down it's so beautiful the formula is extremely buttery and it just blends like a dream i feel like for this all matte look this is the perfect eyeshadow palette The next shade I'm going in with is that mid-tone brown, and I'm taking it to really add some definition to my outer V and my crease area. I'm really just going all in, and I'm going in big circular motions until everything is nice and blended out. Then I'm gonna take that same mid-tone brown on more of a flat definer brush here, and I'm just lightly going to drag this down and just connect all of the shadow together. Keep in mind, this is an all matte look. So absolutely no shimmer here. Now I'm just gonna pop open the cream from the Patrick Ta Four Eyes eyeshadow palette and I'm taking the dark brown and I'm gonna use this to mimic liner. I do think I wanna do more of a black eyeliner but we'll see what happens. I'll probably use this as a base and then I'll go in with a black eyeshadow to just kind of like smoke it out. Smoky liner is always a vibe and it's always a look I'm into.
Once I have that wing down, I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer here to clean it up. And you only need a little bit of concealer, especially because you are doing this after powder, so you don't really want it to be too stark and harsh. So what I'm doing now is I'm switching over to the Make by Mario. This is the Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Love these two shades here, the black and the brown. So I'm gonna do a cross mix between the two. And I'm taking this at the base of my lash line. And I'm ever so slightly just gonna start working this up and creating more of like a smoky wing liner. Now the next shade I'm gonna take is this shade here. Now it does have quite a bit of pickup in the pan, so I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna translate on the eyes, but I'm just gonna take that all over like the inner part of the lid. You can see that it's matte, but it has the tiniest bit of shimmer. I'm essentially just using this color to just open up this area of my eye. Ooh, and that looks really, really pretty. I feel like if I had more of a sticky base, it would probably be even more stunning. But because I did overly mattify everything before I started, it doesn't have much to stick to, but it still looks really nice. And it's definitely brightening up the very inner, like one third of my eye. Now for lashes, I will be using Birdie Lashes. I'm gonna pop on the style Gemini here, which is such a beautiful and stunning pair of lashes. I did already pre-cut them to fit my eyes, so I'm just gonna pop these on very quickly, and then we can move on to the lips. So now that I have lashes on, one thing I always have to do is go in with a little bit of mascara, because I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but my actual lashes have a little bit of powder on them from all of the eyeshadow fallout, so they almost look ashy. And the way that you blend them together is by taking a little bit of mascara and just coating your lashes at the base and not going all the way through the tip. So I only like to just focus it right here. By the way, I am using the Lancome Monster Big Mascara, which is a cult favorite. This is such a beautiful mascara, especially on its own, but today I'm using it in conjunction with falsies to really give me that drama. So you can see just a little bit of that mascara really worked wonders. I'm gonna move on now. I'm gonna go in with a lip liner. This is in the shade Nude Beige by NYX. And I'm just gonna use this to line my lips. Then I'm gonna follow up with probably one of my favorite NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams in the shade London. I don't know what it is, but I've really been obsessed with wearing this color. It is just so stunning on the lips. And then the last and final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some setting spray. This one is by Rare Beauty. This is the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. So I'm just going to use this to set everything down and in place. And this is also going to help melt down my foundation and give it more of like a skin-like finish and feel. And just like that, you guys, this right here is a final and completed look. When I tell you this really is a foolproof look that's gonna look good for any and every occasion, it's going to look good all the time. And here's the reason, it's extremely timeless. I feel like the all matte look is never gonna go out of style. It's always gonna be in style. I feel like in some of my previous videos, I was definitely going a little bit overboard with liquid highlight and just highlight in general, where my face borderline looked kind of greasy and it really just didn't look too appealing. So I really I love the soft matte look. I love how full coverage my base is, but my skin still looks like skin. This is that full coverage look that's always gonna feel lightweight on the skin. So definitely check out the Lancome Foundation if you guys are interested in this full coverage type of deal. I will have it listed down below along with all the products I use in today's video. Now, if you guys wanna see anything in particular, let's say a summer sweat proof makeup tutorial, like full proof, in me like go out and test it, let me know down below in the comments. I'll be happy to film that for you. I typically do do a version of that video every single year, but no one has really requested it. So let me know if you'll be down for that and I'll be happy to film it for you. And that is pretty much it. I rambled on long enough. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.